for Tuna with this deck. Let's try to go undefeated. Uh, this hand is fine. We will keep. A colorless land for him. Seems dubious at this point, but okay. This is where I tend to lose is the third game whenever I have one, two. So we'll see. I definitely don't have much to combat a pretty aggressive start from him like that, but let's see. So red and artifacts bring it on. Yeesh. Okay. Pretty good start for my opponent. Nice curve. And I am away from action. Hopefully I can just top out faster than him. Because it's not too much pressure. They could just have sick removal at this point. Quinde. Alright, just uh, play cards on curve. It's my only chance really here. Feel free to kill that. Use any removal you need to. I'd be very happy with that. Now here would I block? Well, I guess I don't need to make that choice yet. I was going to say, do I block the sparring construct and let a plus one plus one counter on the Voltaic Servant? But I guess we'll see what he does. Uh, nothing. So I could make that a 3-4, which I'm actually okay with. I may as well just stop the life drain at this point. If he wants to Shivan fire me, that's okay. All he does have a three, it's actually a three five vigilance pretty much. But it's not flying, and I have plenty of lands to just keep playing out threats, so I'm okay with this. Um just attack. Can't block, so deal one. Try to get back in the race. Almost accidentally there. <laughs> Almost accidentally skip my main phase, which would have been a disaster. But so four mana, I could play Quinde or Rampaging Cyclops. I think just a Rampaging Cyclops for now would be fine. Rather keep my high priority cards for later. I mean, this can block the Voltaic Servant if needed. If he wants to use the combat trick or removal on it, I'm totally fine with that. I've got just a handful of real good shit. Warcry Phoenix. So, Sarah Angel's gonna need to come out soon to deal with that. Yeah. Definitely. Let's take it. So we'll probably just attack with both and play a Sarah Angel. If they want to remove it, I can play another Sarah Angel. Yeah.
let's just join the race. So far it's also a red white deck. So cool. I have a very good hand though. Just full of big fucking five drops or more. Just a bunch of shit I can play. They have the equipment. Oh, they have two short swords. Alright. I'd actually be happy to trade. It's not the best, but... And honestly, if they have any combat tricks, that's kind of really shitty for me, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's worth a shot. I feel like they might be bluffing if they have a run amok or something. I'll lose, probably, if they don't, but... Alright. So again, we can attack for five, play another Sir Angel. Or something else. Parc Wanderer we can now play. Let's just attack with both. Play a Parc Wanderer. We can play the Sir Angel if we need to next turn. Ooh, barracks. I wish I could pull one of those at all. Yeah. That kind of shuts me down pretty good. Um, well, he's just a 5-5 five, five flying. So I can pretty much attack with Pardic Wanderer, and that's the only possible attack. I think I go ahead and do it. If he blocks with this, fine. Otherwise, I'm, I can't defend with anything I play, so... He has to. And he loses it. it. Seems like kind of a shitty choice, but... Let's play a Sarah Angel and a Bloodstone Golem, and just have insane pressure on him. It's worth a shot. Now, even though it's pretty close, 14 to 9, he really didn't have as bad a board presence as it says with three cards in hand. GG, similar deck. Oh, well, your deck seems better if you have a Varix. So, you shouldn't have said that, really, because now, oh, there's not much I can do about it, but... We won it the way it was. Maybe we run it the same way. We definitely aren't throwing in colors like we did last game. But would we? For what we have? Throwing an Elvish Reborn on a Soul Salvage? Um. You have plenty of targets for the uh, Invoke the Divine, so we definitely throw that in. I completely forgot I have a Devonant Trapper. I think we throw in the Invoke the Divine, take out a Goblin, Bloodstone Goblin, and go for it. Alright. 
So we are one game away from a 3-0 here. That's not how you get there. Definitely have to mulligan this one land hand. This is fine. We can just uh, scry. Scry that to the bottom. Hope for a mountain. He played first. All right. So he's kind of doing the same thing. Okay. Definitely won't be blessed lighting anytime soon. I could use a mountain actually two so maybe we're gonna be punished All right so I need to pay attention oh I've never pulled a history of banalia yet with all my drafts. That'd be insane though. Like it is now. I need I need to pull one of those. So Pegasus Courser is a slam dunk, just block at least one of the knights. It's the best I can do. I would love to pull one of these someday, but... It's not as bad as it looks, but... Alright, he might have a combat trick. I may as well risk it though, at this point. Or he didn't have anything, so I just took one, not too punished. Okay, he does. So we should note that he has radiating lightning. God, could we draw something besides a planes though? That might be game. If we can't draw something besides a goddamn planes for lands. Oops, here comes nine, yeah. Let's probably game pretty fast. Like GG similar deck, but yeah, so let's game. Before I do that, good game. I say. All right. So let's look at this. Reading and lightning won't do much. Blood soon go on. It'll be fine. Uh, there's really not much I can do. A really high curve. In a bloodstone golem to try to combat knights, possibly. But something. What do I take out though for it? Those park wanderers did their work. Maybe uh, rampaging cyclops, and that's the best I can do, I think. Because none of these cards really do anything. Even if I could do black uh, it wouldn't do much all right we're just out aggroed last game so this is fine if 
So we can just play a creature, Triumph of Gerard, play another creature. Hopefully get an insurmountable advantage at that point. It'd be nice if we could draw a creature less than a three drop, but we'll see. Luckily he's not doing much. All right, Devenant Trapper. I can tap a creature next turn if I play a Triumph of Gerard. Or I could just play a Pegasus Corsair to be safe. If he does nothing, or he plays his own Devenant Trapper. So do I play a Pegasus Corsair and just keep playing? Acting like I don't have the Trump Gerard. I think I might. Or I play a Quinde. I think I just play a Quinde. Because he combats the Devonant Trapper during his turn just fine. If I can get plus one, plus one counters on him, then you, all the better. All right, so we've got some action here. Now the question is if he has a Chavan fire or not, because I didn't pull any. Will it be Sigma deck? Didn't see any at all in the draft. I hope to God he didn't either. That's fine. Oh, perfect. So you play a Sarah Angel with this, but I'd much rather just play Triumph of Gerard. A plus one, plus one counter on someone definitely Quinde but here we go goes on the Devonant Trapper attack with both he can't really do anything for blocks Yeah. Get him down to nine, play a Pegasus Courser, and try to just seal the coffin. Triumph of Gerard is just going to keep adding to this. Go ahead and kill the Devonant Trapper. Ugh. Through Benalia. It's just good. It's just a good card. I would love to pull one eventually. Alright, feel free to attack through. I apologize for all this brightness I'm fucking with, but. Alright. So five, four. I can't play that Quinde and tap something. It would not be worth it. Maybe I could attack with the Quinde though. Attack with both of them. I think I just attack with everything. Sure. And worst case scenario, I don't know. I play another creature. Who do I make flying though? Probably Quinde. Because he's going to have to block both with the Knight and the Devonant Trapper to kill the other creature. 
and that's a 4-4 four, four double strike, or a 4 damage, four damage double strike. So we're getting him down to 5. He really has to sacrifice two creatures. That doesn't seem worth it at all. Oh, that's why. Uh, definitely go ahead and kill Quinde though. I will play a Sarah Angel and play Quinde next turn. Is my idea. fine. Also the Sir Angel, I don't think it has to be Sir Angel, but we'll get First Strike and Lifelink. Alright, so let's hope he doesn't have a removal. Alright, thank god he didn't have the mana to use that very well. Ooh. I think I just take everything because I don't want to risk a adamant will or something. If I could play Quinde and give the Sarah Angel double strike with the Triumph of Gerard. Triumph of Gerard, yeah, I gave her a first strike. So I think play a Quinde. Give him double strike lifelink. Vigilance. Let's go for it. Um, let's, yeah, let's just go for it. That should be game. Oof. Ah, uh, it's bad. That is pretty bad. Should have seen that coming, but whatever. Might even be game winning. Let's see. Depends on how he plays from here on out. That was good of him. Um, do I take six? Yeah, sure. I could have traded the Quinde. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, it's not good at all. Ooh. Okay. So if I attack with both of them, I just lose if he doesn't block at all. Or no, I could play the uh Pegasus Corsair to block him. I go down to two if he attacks. Let's just risk it. Let's attack with both. We can Gideon's approach the Sarah Angel, and he can attack for seven. I can block with a Pegasus Corsair. Otherwise, I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's just go for it. It's only the whole league if I lose here. Oh, let's go for it. Hopefully we can just kill this Sarah Angel.
All right, so we keep that alive. We deal five. Play another Pegasus Courser to block stuff. And we can attack through with, as long as Quinday stays alive. One day and one of these Pegasus Coursers stays alive, we win the game. Alright, so it all comes down to this. What does he have? Plenty of cards. Cheeser card. Oh, no, that was a while ago. This coming from the guy who pulled a fucking what is it called? History of Banalia, yeah. I definitely just played a cheeser card to win. Okay. So I don't think he can win from this point. Great games, yeah. GG. Alright, so they're all flying. That should do it. And that should be a uh, undefeated league again. Unless he's just trolling me. Not quite. But we have a pretty good chance of winning regardless. Let's see. So I could block the Sanctum Spirit, but I'm just going to block this instead. Try to get the most power, well it's the same amount of power, but I don't want to risk him discarding a legendary card and not losing any creatures. I guess it doesn't matter, but he does have two cards in hand. Alright. I'm just gonna fly through everything next turn. This should be another undefeated league. Double Pegasus just carrying us. So there's another undefeated.